Hey guys, and welcome back to Die Young Part 7. I just wanted to let you know that I had some audio issues with my microphone. It kind of stopped working and defaulted to a much lower quality microphone without me knowing. Now the episode is relatively short, so it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully, on your ears. So yeah, I just wanted to give you the heads up and apologize in advance. In any case, let's get on with the episode. Hey guys, welcome back to Die Young. I'm Jason at Fire Rock Gaming. Uh, right off the bat, I want to head back up into the mountains and drop off some gold over there at that ogre layer. And yes, I did see in the comments that I mis uh, mispronounced it or misread it as angel instead of ogre. So, um, I'll see you guys up there in a second. Alright. So we're here. Now, if you remember in that note we read in the last episode, Babalos apparently has a little hideout up in the mountains with an owl on his shoulder. I mean, assume that this is going to be it. If you look here, you can notice that it says you can't fast travel because the it's uh, collapsed. So this place is just kind of on its own. You also can't access storage from other bunkers. And here's my little gold, so we're going to put that in there. And apparently it comes at night, so maybe the next day we'll come and see that. See what happens, if anything. Alright, so back down to that house and we'll continue exploring closer towards that big ol' cliffside fortress over there. Huh. It kind of looks like the passage we could have went up earlier in the ravine. It looks like it leads to a cave over there. Maybe it doesn't lead to the path. Or maybe it goes right through that hill into the path. I don't know. We're going to work our way all the way back and around from that Apricot Valley house though over there on the ledge. So I'll see you there in a second. Okay, so we haven't gone this way yet. That treehouse is right up on the ledge there. Save points over in that direction. So let's make our way around here and try to get inside this house. I'm sure, there's some sort of loot or treasure or upgrade or enemy. Something's in there. Excuse my sniffling, by the way. I've had this cold the last few days. Okay, we got more of these neutral members of the group. Not our allies, not our enemies. Well, this guy's got something to say. Yes, you look just like the other old man. Finally, someone who can talk to me. Finally! Someone who wants to talk with me. Whoa, calm down. First of all, lower your voice, because my head is pounding as it is. What did you want to tell me? We've been kept awake for nights by noises coming from the cellar. Maybe you could sort out this problem. Me? Sort out your problem? That's right. The cellar is sealed off and nobody can get in. Could you go take a look? How am I supposed to get inside if it's sealed shut? We're not sure, but we think there's another way in. A comrade of mine searched for it without success. I tell you to go talk with him about it, but he left with no explanation. Oh well. Listen, I just want to get away from here. What do you say about first fixing my problem? I think I'll get moving along now. I'll return to my work then. Alright, so 80% of what this guy talked about was meaningless. I'm just going to leave in the thing about him cleaning out the rats or whatever's in the cellar. And I have to find an alternative route into it. But let's go ahead and check out the house first before we start on this little mini quest. It's like any other typical... What's this? Infinite food? Okay, keep that in mind. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. I can't really see another way in. There's some boarded uh, window right there. Maybe I can climb in that. Something behind this dresser, maybe. Or maybe this one. We got some water. Guess we can add that to the map. It's locked from the other side. Isn't that the back door? Let me peek outside real quick. No, there's something 
Something in there. Alright, let's go up. Is this something upstairs? Oh, don't want to me. Come on. Okay, here's. Oh, dang. I thought I was good at climbing. Ugh. So there's an open window over there. Can't jump in swing apparently. What's this? I was trying to climb up and get on to the house from here, but found ourselves a shelter instead. So I want to climb down, get on top of the roof, and maybe find a way to the second floor, which might lead to the cellar, if we're lucky. So I'm just going to make a leap from here, I guess. Let's get a running start, because you don't start running. What the? What? Wow. <laughs> I just slid all the way down. Okay, so maybe we have access to the second floor. Good thing there's no windows. Take those useful bindings, block from the other side, of course it is. Get another drawing here. Another another drawing. Keeping kids in here? What is this? Ishmael. Aaron. Alright, to the staircase. Okay, we got that window there. Well, a lot of good that did me. Ooh, I do see uh, some grabbables right there. Jank, janky climbing system. It's interesting, but it doesn't work most of the time. Okay. So we're in the other section of the second floor. You document. Four pages. All right. April 11th, 1989. What a drag. Having to relocate is just a mess. We have to hurry because in two days we'll be leaving. It's decided. I've been packing stuff up by myself for a week now. Mom and Dad are overloaded with work, and my little brothers are always on the hunt for adventure. The little goons, acting like they're in that movie searching for pirate ship treasure. I guess the goonies. Life can't be so carefree. Luckily, that was Delara and volleyball. What? Okay, my parents are pressuring me. I'm the big one. I do the packing. My little brothers, on the other hand, are free to... Fuck around in the treehouse for as long as they want. Horse shit. Vulgar little little uh, creature here. At the village, things will change for sure. They say that it's a happy place. I can't wait to go. It's just so annoying that I'm responsible for all this packing first. I'll miss this house, but really, it won't be hard to get over. Last day, we can't wait anymore. I packed everything I could. Mom already said that for now, we, can t we can't take everything along. A few things will be left behind, stored in the barn. Recap. Shoes. Checked. Horror movie videotape collection. Check. Favorite band's t-shirt. Check. I've taken everything, but I couldn't find my volleyball, knee pads, nor my flute. I think my parents might have already packed them up without telling me. So meddlesome. Anyways, I'll... I've been just... Train? Anyways, I've decided to leave my diary here. This way, whoever takes our place will remember that this was first home to a girl called Nure. Okay, so I think we might be finding knee pads soon, if I had to wager a guess. In a barn, she says. Alright, let's see if we can get to the cellar. 
I'll take a look around the house again and see if I can't find an alternative way down there. Well, there is a big hole right here into the house. I'm sure this is it. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Find out the origin of the noise. We got a dumb waiter here. I know I'm not fit making fun of waiters. Okay, I can't get up that way. Ooh. Okay, so first, let's push the box. Use this. To climb up here. This does nothing. I guess we need to push this box onto it. Awesome. Hmm. Can I cheese this? No. Alright, back to the dumb waiter. Damn it. Alright, so obviously this opened up this path. God damn this game. Can't turn around without flying off a cliff in this game. Alright. Complete. So now we just have to make our way. What the hell? Right, back up and around this way. Now will take us here. Son of a bitch. Crazy game. The controls are like almost there. You can almost rely on them. What are these noises? Ground's a little. Oop, I'll take a crowbar. What the hell? That's the way back. There is someone sleeping in here. A very bloody someone. Ugh, not too long ago, someone bled a lot here. See the notes. Give me a second. I want to look around for a minute. Okay, note reading time. Dave, I found you sleeping and preferred not to wake you up. I'm sorry to leave you by the by yourself here for all this time, but I can't do otherwise, and others would get suspicious. They heard you in your delirium, and they're still asking themselves where the shouts are coming from. I hope the medicine that I brought you takes effect soon. I don't know when I'll be able to return, so I've left you the recipe and materials to prepare new doses if you need them. In the meantime, I hope you reflect on what we've talked about. Believe me, the trials are a necessary evil, and once you enter, a, enter to become a part of our community, will feel like a new man. I put a lot of thought into it, and I've convinced myself that helping you is the right thing to do. As soon as you've got your strength back, I'll accompany you in your path for as long as I can, up to the area of resurgence. I know that it's difficult, but I have faith in you. This is a recipe for restorative tonic and extractive herbs with a slow revitalizing effect. Cool, I actually would probably prefer that. Just need a bunch of lavender. Okay. So we're done in the cellar. Let's climb our way out. Go return to the old man by the swing set. Yes, yes, I got your your thing. You can talk to me or what? Do you not like me holding a weapon? Is that what the problem is? Old man, I fixed your problem. What do you want? Tell the old man about it. Okay, now I can talk to him. Concerning, Concerning your, your problem. problem. What do you want to know? I managed to get into the cellar. Really? What did you find there?
An injured man used it as a hideout, and one of you helped him. Oh, really? So that's why my comrade moved away from the valley. Anyways, these matters are of no concern to you. I think I've earned your help. Well, yes, you've earned it. Ask me what you want, and I'll see whether I can sort you out. Um... What can you tell me about this island? It seems like a world of its own. It is, and we're happy that it is. Out there, unfortunately, they're not yet ready to embrace a socialist community such as ours. And what do you have to say about the dead bodies? You can't see further than your nose. Brother number one wants to re-educate you. You must merit your place in our community. Who is this brother number one? Who is it? It's the man who built all of this. He carved out a paradise for us away from the system. What can you offer me? Feel free to take apricots from our orchard, even though you've probably helped yourself already, right? Stop for a moment and reflect. Have you ever given such value to food? Oh, thanks. Your reward is food that I could have just grabbed myself anyway. So, there is a way to leave this place? Get away? Why would you? Once you overcome the trials, you will no longer want to leave. Don't give up. Trial? Do you mean some sort of test? It's up to you to find out what I mean. In any case, when you arrive, you'll understand immediately. Okay, I'm fucked. I get it. Okay. I think I'll get moving along now. I'll return to my. I don't know how much of his conversation I'll cut out, but if I did, know that it's pretty much meaningless. <laughs> Has no story element, as far as I can tell. What the hell is this? What was that? Am I crazy? I just saw like pulses ripple from the ground. What in the world? Okay. <laughs> well, you have fun. So we're going to keep on moving forward from here. Our 30 minutes is about up. This might be a pretty short episode. I think I'll be cutting a lot out, but... Let's see how much further we can get. I want to find this barn and perhaps knee pads before we end. This might be it. So let us check it out. I don't I don't want a stick. I do not want a stick. Inventory's full enough. Rats. Ugh. Game's having some issues in here. No. Bite my... Bite my ankles. Let's eat some food. Oh, here we go. Yeah. What we got in this place? A note. Uh, every time I get... Every time I have to go into the cellar, my feet get wet, but I have to pass that way if I don't want to get caught. Anyways, this won't go on for much longer. Soon he'll be able to walk again. But then what should I do? Everyone should have an equal chance of to, at overcoming the trials. He's hurt and needs help. There's nothing wrong with that. Take a wrench. Let's climb on up. Maybe we can get somewhere neat. It looks like there's stuff over there. I don't know. Let's keep... Let's go around this way. Oh, there's even more stuff. Okay. Ooh. That was one of those I have no idea if it's going to work moments, but went for it. Alright, we're on 
on the roof. What the hell could be up here? What is all this? Another box. <gasps> yes. Knee pads. I knew it. Sports shorts with knee pads, teenage size, and they fit me. Reduce fall damage. Yoink. Super need those. That's going to be helpful. I'm always taking fall damage. Just like this. Alright. Well, let's go find ourselves the next... Let me check our map, actually. I want to come over this way. And hope I can find a fire pit. But if not, I'll just keep going. I know this level or this episode is gonna be short, like I mentioned, but no harm in putting in a few extra minutes. The stone pillars. All right. Let's take a gander around here. What the hell is this? There's a socket to insert a plug. What the hell? What is this? I'd say it's an elevator. But there's there's no way. Alright, I'm gonna go up this way, kind of back towards the olive garden, and we'll see what we can find on this path we haven't yet explored. Uh-oh. This cave just goes on and on. I'm not going to explore it yet. Uh, okay, this looks like an alternative path. We'll probably come back from that way in our in our exploration loop. Let's go over this way first. The Apricot Valley. get on my map every once in a while. Looks like I could jump over that way, get to the uh, path, but this also circles all the way around to it. Oh, there's a gate. But do we unlock it from this side? It's locked. Yes, I, I know that. From the other side? I don't see a lock on there. Well, okay. I guess we're not going in that direction. Let's go over the hill then. Okay, this looks like a lock we can open from this side. Let's go take care of that. And that's a huge lock, by the way. Go ahead and gather this water source. Because why not add it to the map? And we're gonna go in here. Found ourselves a little shack. God, I don't want sticks anymore. In. Whole milk thicket. I don't know if that was locked from the inside or what, but <laughs> Ooh. what's this? Another locket. Seems like someone le has left a canteen somewhere in the sunflower. So, wow. Well, uh, another note. I don't even know how much time goes has gone by since they kidnapped us. We just wanted to relax in a quiet place before going back to Spain to watch our favorite teams and watch. Match. Instead of I found myself at the bottom of a well, separated from my wife, I searched for her for months, but I didn't manage to find her. I think they killed her. Leia Amor, forgive me for not being there to defend you. I'm going to escape, and it doesn't matter how, but I will return and raise this whole island to the ground. I found a boat, and I've hidden it among the ruins and the recess of the coast, just west of the high tower. 
I should have followed the directions, but the lunatic gave me over the walkie-talkie, but I'll be damned if I bend to his will. We foreigners don't deserve this. And on the back of the map, if you're reading this and you're a foreigner, be brave and don't give up if you're one of them and Dante a la Merida. Uh, prepare to be murdered? I don't know. I can't speak that language. Let's see. Oh, nice stick. Alright. Um, let's try to swing around this way, back and over towards that ravine. Oh, campfire. This is actually a pretty good spot to stop things. The hell is a shovel? Hold on. Shovel. A rickety shovel. It won't last long. Can I use this to... I don't know, dig? Well, let's just see if this back door is unlocked before we move on. There is a window, though. Okay. Um, yeah, that seems like a good spot to stop. So next time, we'll finish exploring this path all the way around here, back to that locked gate, and then we can open it from the other side and find the that passage that came up and off of the ravine down here. And then we'll head up this way to the left and make our way all the way back to this area and then up in that area. Alrighty, and I'll see you guys next time with more Die Young. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on what you think of this series so far. Subscribe if you haven't already if you want to further support the channel. And I will see you guys next time.